today, before we, be, be, we begin um, our pre-writing and continuing that process, we are going to examine how one writer explored a topic and planned her research report. So if you guys could turn in your student book to page 738, we're going to look at the brainstorming ideas written by Maya. It says that when you plan a research report, you do research to answer your questions about the topic. You take notes on index cards, which is really handy, and then you make an outline from your notes. Each topic in your outline will become a paragraph in your report. Use the writing process checklist, right here on the side of page 738, below to help you plan your writing. So this is Maya. She took notes to answer her questions about hippos, and then she organized all of her notes into an outline. Okay, this is a very formal outline, but here she was exploring what is a hippo's habitat, and she found out that in Africa's uh, rivers and lakes, um, you'll find hippos. They spend much of the day in the water because the intense heat can rapidly dehydrate them. And then she took down the information about where she found that quote so that she could be um, very precise and accurate in recording this direct quote which is a wonderful way to explain why they do that, okay? Then another question that she had, um, and it's a heading in her report, is what do hippos eat? Okay, they mainly eat plants, they eat at night, they're about 80 pounds, they eat about 80 pounds a day, and then this is where she found this information. It's a nonfiction book, okay? So now, um, we're going to look at her outline on page 739. So here we have what are hippos. Huge animals related to pigs, and their name means river horse. And then the second heading is hippos water habitat. They live by rivers and lakes, spend days in water because she included her things. She added in water can watch for danger because their eyes are near the top of their head. So if they're in the water, they can see. And they walk on the river or lake bottoms. They can hold their breath about five minutes. These are pieces of information that were not um, on her original outline. Okay? But that's okay because she made it even better by adding those things. Okay? So then hippos eat on land, mostly plants. She included the part where they grab and how they eat. They don't have sharp teeth for eating, only for fighting. And they eat about 80 pounds a day, which is a really small amount of food for the size of a hippo. Okay. Um, so we are going to reading as a writer. In what ways do Maya's facts support her topics? In your outline, where can you add interesting and specific facts, information, and examples? Okay, so in your outlines, um, you're going to check. Make sure you included facts and details, evidence, examples about your topic, and then be sure that all the information you plan to include in your report is relevant to your topic or your animal. Okay? You're going to work on that outline and begin to gather and categorize the information that you've gathered um, from print and digital resources, just like Maya did here on page 739. So you're going to take your information and you're going to plug it into an outline. This can be typed, this can be on a piece of lined paper, this could be in your composition notebook. But you're going to reference her outline here on this page. You're also going to reference the checklist. Okay? Did you choose a topic that will interest the audience and that interests you? If you're going to be spending time doing the research, is it something you're interested in? Did you ask interesting questions about your topic? Okay? I do want to, I don't want to know what a hippo looks like necessarily. That's not an interesting question about hippos. Okay? But you could, in your report, include a picture of a hippo. But it's not necessary to write about it. Okay? Did you use dependable resources to find facts? Okay? Did you find current facts? Did you find reliable ones? Did you take notes on enough facts? Do you have enough things about each of your questions and headings? And then did you organize your outline with main topics and subtopics? Okay. Look at how she turned her questions, what do hippos eat, into 
a heading, what hippos eat. So he took out the question and made it a statement. What is a hippo's habitat? Well, now we know it's a water, so we, we titled this, this section and headed it hippo's water habitat. All right, so you're going to work on creating an outline like this and gathering your information and making sure all these pre-writing checklist um, things are checked for you. And then next week, we will regroup with your information and refresh our minds and do some drafting, revising, and publishing. Have fun with this. I hope that you guys um, share these with me. I'd love to see what animals you pick and what kind of information you're able to gather about each animal.